Hey everyone, Richard C. Wilson here, Family Office Club. I want to record this short video on extreme focus. Um, Peter Thiel has a quote. He says that extreme focus is a superpower. In today's world with YouTube shorts, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, text messages, WhatsApp, uh, lots of meetings, lots of phone calls, if you're like most people, um, it is hard to have any type of focus, very hard to have extreme focus. Keith Cunningham says you should sit in a quiet room for an hour and have thinking time and separate yourself from your former self and your competition by being way more thoughtful than others. And I think Peter Thiel's comment on you know, extreme focus being a superpower is definitely true. I'm trying to figure out the different ways to apply that lesson to my life. And I heard a quote by Steve Jobs. He said that if you are looking at several ideas and you know that a few of them could definitely be profitable, definitely could, some of them could definitely work, you know you could create a market for it, you know it would raise the value of your business, it's the ability to say no to things that you know would make you money and you know would do pretty well and maybe even have a chance of doing very well and it's saying no to those things so you can put all of your attention on something that is three times or ten times more exciting more scalable, more aligned with your values, um, more something that you're more passionate about, perhaps. Um, that's basically Steve Jobs' definition of extreme focus. And the famous story of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates having dinner for the first time over at um, Gates' house, and who knows if this is true, but supposedly they said this and claimed to have when they were both very young. Um, they both were asked by Gates' mother, I think it was, what's the number one secret to being so successful? You're both so successful. Both of them immediately said focus at the exact same time. Um, so I'm trying to apply this to health. When it comes time to eat food, I want to be extremely focused on food that's not been processed. Make sure you eat enough protein, enough nutrient-dense foods. And um, instead of being in a debate whether uh, meat is evil or um, vegetarian is better, I'm, I'm in the camp of just eat foods that haven't been through a machine and eat healthy, natural foods. Uh, as crazy as that sounds uh, and different as that sounds, um, and a lot of you probably agree. Um, when it comes time to explore and develop a new part of our business, I had this conversation with Laura on my team yesterday, and it was very helpful, was sometimes you're doing R&D in an area, and you're doing three to five experiments. You're trying out four to seven new strategies. It can be a little bit hard to say, okay, we're going to be extremely focused. When you don't have something completely figured out yet, you're still iterating you're still experimenting, you're still, you know, implementing speed of implementation type principle. Um, but she pointed out that, well, your extreme focus could be to that niche, the broader niche, or to that business model. And it is extreme focus on sticking to it until you figure it out, until one of those experiments work, right? Uh, they're not failures, they're just learnings and things that you know now don't work, so you can move on to the next thing. So extreme focus is something you can apply to a new business, something you can apply to a mature business, something you can apply to your health, to your workout. Um, I've been reading the Schwarzenegger book. I think it's called Be Useful. If you haven't watched the Arnold documentary, I'm a huge fan of that. And in that book, Schwarzenegger says that you have to, you know, he's obviously an expert at uh, fitness and uh, working out. He says whenever he goes to the gym, he sees someone bouncing around, around like a ping pong ball. They have no idea why they're in the gym. They don't know what their goals are. They're the opposite of extreme focus. And I think if you get that way in business, then you're being reactive to emails coming in and you're not being highly effective. You're not going to get the results you want to get. So happy to share notes with uh, anyone who wants to or comment on the video uh, about how you keep your extreme focus, how you get into a mode of extreme focus. Um, I've been mentored by Dan Sullivan, and I used to have Tuesday, Thursday be my buffer days. Now I have one buffer day. It's Wednesday. And Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm more focused on what my big strategic goals are. And a maximum 20% of those days are buffer activities, and the rest are focus activities, very strategic activities. So I hope this video helps. Um, it's something I've been thinking about a lot, and I just want to share that with our followers uh, so we can talk about it maybe at our next Private Investor Mastermind. And um, by sharing these types of ideas within our community, we hope that Family Office Club can be a perpetual learning machine for yourself, just as it has been for us over the last 275 events that we've hosted. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.